Hello all, it is Kate and today I have a treat. I'm so excited. Um, this deck has been on my wish list for many, many, many years. I missed out a few years ago on the Los Scarabeo version of the deck that came out. And I missed again on the, um, the Scarlet Print deck that came out a few years ago, although that was really, really pricey. I'm not sure if I would have been able to afford it back then. I did, um, I was able to get this wonderful book by Peter Mark Adams about the Solobosca. So this is going to be all about the Solobosca. And I can't wait to show you, um, about, um, I want to say three weeks ago, uh, El Melagano, um, put on their Facebook page that they were going to be coming out with a special edition of the Solobosco. And I jumped on that and I said, yes, I'm going to get that deck. I want that deck. And please, 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 may I have that deck. So, I got it. And this is it. But before I do that, I just wanted to bring out that, um, the Low Scarabeo deck that was released earlier, um, this year, I, I guess, um, it could have been in the latter half of last year. I can't, it, the dates are all kind of wibbly wobbly. Um, so this is the book set that came from, um, Lois Gabeo, and it's not in order, but I'm going to take it out because I want to, um, show you the difference between the two. So I'm just going to put that there. Put that down. And hopefully everything will be in focus here. So this is the deck. It's <laughs> It, I opened it up already. I, I needed to see it. It was plastic wrapped. And um, when um, they asked what my favorite number was, I said three. Someone got that number already. So I said six. And um, I ended up getting the sixth, number six in the, the series. And, um, inside of it, it came with the little wax seal, which I'm going to keep. And, um, this is the card that it came on. So it's telling you that there's 200 editions and this is number six of 200, of 200. This is the back. It's lovely. It's that really, really nice um, cardstock they put on everything. And I just wanted to see if I can um, compare that against the cardstock from Los Carabao. Now, this is not a bad deck. It's just super, super glossy. And um, let me see if I can find the, the Fool. And one of the things that I do love about this deck is that the, the colors are really nice and vibrant. And I have shuffled this um, a few times. It's very slippery. It's just very easy to shuffle um, all the way around. It's just really um, a nice, nice deck. So for $40, you... You know, you really can't go wrong if you get the the um, Los Scarabeo deck. And I just wanted to show you the difference between the two. So they look like they're the same height. Just about the same height. They are the same height. And they're the same width. But the El Melageno, sorry about the pronunciation, I'm an, an Italian-American, I should get that right, and I, I don't, I'm really horrible at languages so um the paper stock on this is is quite 
thicker than the one from Los Scarabeo. And I just wanted to show you the difference here. This is glossy, this is very matte, but the paper is just so wonderful on here. And yes, you can see the details more clearly on, on the glossy, and you're going to just because it's the glossy paper. So I'm going to put the Los Carabeo deck aside, and um, let's look at the, the deck. I'm just going to lower this so we can get a, a nice view here. And I'm going to just do a quick, quick walk through. I just want to make sure everything's in in focus here so you can see what it's like now as you know on the Solobosca the trumps or the mages do not look like anything like the Rider Waite Smith or the Tara de Messe it's totally different except for this fool character and if you look closely right here you can see the zero so this starts at zero and you can tell this is a very lovely duck. I love the crow sitting on his shoulder. I love the bagpipe. I love the kind of um, call to detail here. Just a very beautiful, beautiful card. Even though I've been reading um, Peter Mark Adams' book, I'm still not 100% on the names and the cards. I'm just trying to learn the system. It's a little bit different. Oh, on the back here, it's just like smooth as velvet. I just want to compare it against the Los Carabeo again, just to give you kind of a flavor for each one. So you can see the details of each one. So you can um, make that choice yourself. I prefer the cardstock, to tell you the truth, on the El Melageno one. And um, the details of the um, cards are just totally amazing. I kind of like, I prefer the muted colors on this one. I'm not going to do too much commentary on the cards. Again, the, the cardstock is quite beautiful. It has that um, nice, nice feeling to it. It reminds me a lot of the... Um, other decks in that series too so this is quite quite gruesome If you do get the Los Carabeo book and cards, they do have like a description of each of the cards and um, 
it has some history of the deck itself. It's from 1491, and it's the oldest complete tarot deck. And it has, again, the, the, the trumps are different from the minors, but it has the complete um, 22 majors and the um, 56 minors. And the minors resemble a little bit like the Rider Waite Smith to some degree. It does have a pictorial um, minors and um, some of the cards you'll see where um, Pamela Coleman Smith got her inspiration from. quite like that. Now we go to the miners. These are the swords, if you haven't noticed. Still have that feel. And yes, this is where the um, Three of Swords came into play. This kind of heartbreaking right through the heart. There's not many women in this deck except for the queens and for one other woman, and they're all in the minors. There's no woman in the majors at all. And if you read Peter Mark's book, um, there's a lot of conspiracy theories going on there, and it was just really kind of, um, if you're a fan of ancient aliens and that, ilk you might enjoy the book there's some pertinent histories in it but he does make some uh, uh, conjectures here and there and here um Pam coleman smith also um took this and made it into the wands instead of the swords. So here's the uh, page, the knight, the queen, the king. I really do like these, the queen and the king, uh, the courts in this this deck. It's they're it's really quite pleasant. And again, we have the, the, the coins here, the two of coins. So you have that balance of coin, scenix and the number of the, the suit. And he has that, uh, other female figure. If you have any questions about this deck and any thoughts about any of the images, please feel free to comment down below. And you can always pause the video if you wanted to study a specific card. I just love these this card stock. It's really quite nice. And I love the colors on this. I like that it's not glossy.
I wish we could have had some of the original meanings of these cards. Um, that would have been very interesting, but since this deck was only come came out of uh, personal control oh, in, in the last 10 or 11 years, and with no kind of descriptions on it, we'll, we'll really kind of never know unless there's a, a, a book or something else in their private archives, which would have been released with this deck. Thank you for watching. And again, if you have any comments or um, ideas about any of the individual cards, please let me know below and tell me if you like the Luscar Luscarabeo Museum quality edition to this one. I prefer this one. It's really a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deck. So have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.